Hi everyone, that's Yarapu with you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you came to the New York City for the first time and you're not sure if it was it to go to the Liberty Island or Alice Island to watch the Statue of Liberty and so on, then watch this vlog and you will figure out for yourself because today I'll show you how to get there, what is it there and how is it there. So let's go! It was another sunny day in July and me and my friends walked down Broadway Street to the first attraction of the city, which is Charging Bull. Well, when you are in New York City, any spot can be a tourist attraction, but the most popular usually have a line in order to take a picture with it. And believe me or not, but we actually stood in a line to take a picture with the back of this bull. But because we were in a rush, I found a tricky way to skip another line to take a picture with the front of this bull. We just stood on the little rock behind this fence, and while people were switching, we quickly made some pictures, and then people realized that I can do the same thing and not standing in the line. It was so funny. Then we continued to go down the Broadway to the Battery Park in order to buy the proper and cheap tickets in this little place, which called Castle Clinton National Monument. This is the place where you're actually supposed to buy the tickets, and, uh, and they will be much cheaper than from the guys who are offering you outside so never buy the tickets from the outside buy tickets right over here after you purchase your tickets you will need to stay in the line in order to get to this little statue of liberty crease then you also will need to go through the back check and only then you will be able to go on the board of this little boat and just look at this miss new york boat it's so happy to see us Happy, 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 dun, 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 dun. happy, 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 And I'll give you guys a little advice. If you want to skip the line and get the best spot on the boat, it's better to come here early, like around 8 or 9 a.m. And the best spot on the boat is the top one, so better to take this one. And if you go there in the summer, make sure to wear the hat, wear the sunglasses and the sunscreen and have the water to stay hydrated because it's so hot in there. After all of the tourists have boarded to the boat, we finally take off and the speed of this boat starts getting faster and faster. And silly me wasn't wearing any sunglasses, so I haven't noticed how I film some of my videos in slow motion, but they still look cute. It took us probably less than 10 minutes to get to this Liberty Island and here we go, we are here! Besides the Statue of Liberty and Museum of Statue of Liberty and the beautiful beautiful flowers and bees, it also had the information center, restrooms, food, gift shop, ferries, ranger tours and maybe more food. It was way too hot outside, so we decided to chill in the Statue of Liberty Museum first and explore it a bit. This is the smallest museum I have ever been to, but it's also a very interesting museum because it has everything what you need to know about the Statue of Liberty, different interesting exhibits, and different information, so you gotta read a lot here. One of my favorite part of this museum is that you can take a selfie on this machine 
indicate your country or country of your friends if you are together. Uh, take a beautiful selfie, you can retake it if you don't like it and then send it and it will appear on this huge screen which will create an image of Statue of Liberty from these little small pictures uh, of people, of visitors and pictures of uh, from social media probably. But don't get upset if you don't see yourself right away because it will take like a few minutes, maybe 10, maybe 5, to appear on the screen. And while you will wait in, you will be able to see how many different countries visited this place. And only after maybe like 10 minutes, you will finally see yourself on the screen and you will float towards the Statue of Liberty to take a place in the small part of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, something like that. But it's beautiful and we like it so much. After exploring the museum, you can go upstairs on the roof of this museum and view a beautiful view of the Manhattan and Statue of Liberty from its back. This is actually a great place for the photo shoot. And it's not my first time to be in here, but I always wonder what is inside of the Statue of Liberty, because actually I have never been inside of the Statue of Liberty, because you have to pay extra money, and I don't have this extra money, but hopefully one day I will. But even though you don't have an extra money to go inside of the Statue of Liberty, you can still enjoy your little trip, because museum here is free, a beautiful view on the waves of this ocean is also free and you can stay in this island and watching the statue of liberty from the bottom as long as you want we were here for about like two or three hours and we get thirsty so bad so we decided to get some lemonade from this little kiosk i never trusted the lemonade because sometimes they didn't really taste good but we decided to give a chance to this lemonade which were served in this beautiful um, not the bottles but cups which reminds me a flame of the fire of the Statue of Liberty and it turns out to be perfect. perfect yes this lemonade was just perfect it was amazing not too sour not too sweet just perfect and it was also cold which was super cool in this hot weather so we stay here for a few more minutes and enjoy a little park over here and then we decided to go to our next destination but first we were supposed to stay in another huge line to get a next ferry to the Ellis Island we also was watching and admiring helicopters helicopter helicopter and a lot of coins in this place I don't think it's safe to put in there but anyway they were there and here we go our next ferry was waiting for us After another few minutes, we finally came to our Ellis Island and the main attraction in here is the Ellis Island National Museum of Immigration. It was the first inspection station opened in 1892 and was destroyed by fire in 1897. The second station opened in the 1800s and housed facilities for medical quarantines and processing immigrants. After 1924, Ellis Island was used primarily as the detention center for immigrants. Then suddenly it closed and was abandoned over than 30 years and later when it became a part of national park system by presidential proclamation in 1965, it was restored and reopened to public in 1990s as the country's primary museum devoted entirely to immigration. But before, from 1892 to 1954, nearly then 12 million immigrants arriving at the port of New York and New Jersey were processed there under federal law. And today, it's a part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument and it's accessible to the public only by ferry. So remember guys, if you bought a ticket to Liberty Island, it includes the trip to the Ellis Island and all the museums there are completely free for you. However, my dear fellow, if you are lazy just like me and you really like to read a lot of the museums, then this museum might seem to be a bit boring for us. Since it's way too much readings in here instead of objects to look at, but I will try to show you the best exhibits I found in here.
After a long hour at that museum, we were finally able to breathe in a fresh air and say hi to our new birdie friends. But hey, don't rush to leave this place, because before you leave, you have to check out a beautiful spot behind that museum, where you will be able to see a beautiful green grass, a national flag of the United States of America, my tired sister, and a lot of grey panels with the different names on it. And this is not a decoration, this is another monument. This is the American Immigrant Wall of Honor to most of the immigrants whose name was recorded. And as you can see, it's a huge monument which goes in a circle around this little park behind the museum. And on each panel from the bus sides, there are a lot of different names. So if you are interested, you can also read all of these names and maybe you can find your ancestors. But if you don't care about this monument, welcome to a beautiful spot behind this museum with a beautiful view where you can take a beautiful, beautiful picture with a beautiful Manhattan behind you. But my advice to you, uh, to take this beautiful picture is better to wear a pants or shorts or long dress because my short skirt was constantly flying up and showing my pants. I wanna be After many photo shoot, we stayed in another long line to the ferry to go back to the New York City so we can meet our friend, here is my bestie, here you go, and we decided to walk a bit more in the city and then get some food. We spent more than 5 hours on that trip to the Liberty Island and Ellis Island, so we went to our lovely Burger King and get some real food, real American food. And it actually has a real beautiful view from this second floor of the Burger King, so we can enjoy the view as well besides the meal. However, the price we paid for our food wasn't really pleasant and it's sometimes it's better to go to the local restaurant instead of the fast food restaurant. After our meal, my sister and her mom were so tired, so they went home, and I decided to go to the cinema with my friend. We bought a ticket for the Insidious, the Red Door, and we were so excited to watch this horror movie, even though it wasn't really horror. Since I was filming this video in the July, right before the Barbie movie, the cinema had uh, this beautiful photo shoot booth in the Barbie theme. Then we got some popcorn and we went to watch this movie, and after we finished, it was so dark outside, so it was definitely a time to go home. It was a really, really long day. Bro, it's, it's 11. <laughs> We're going home. It's nobody on the street, almost nobody. Well, anyway. Bye. Bye. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my video. So, thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe and follow my Instagram and TikTok and other social medias in the description if you want. And see you later. Bye.